Well, CES is usually hosted in Las Vegas, and the city is losing out on much needed revenue. For more on that, CGTN's Rochelle Cufo spoke to Rick Villota, assistant business editor for the Los Angeles Las Vegas Review, and he begins by explaining what Vegas looked like before the pandemic. Well, in, in January, this is actually the time for us for conventions, meetings, and trade shows. Uh, for whatever reason, January through March are really heavy times, and we rely a lot on these uh, people that come in for meetings and, and trade shows because that's what fills the hotels during midweek. Uh, during a, a typical weekend, we'll, we'll get 300,000 people here anyway, just coming in from Southern California from other locations. But uh, for, for this year, it's been a lot, uh, or, or the, the past year, it's been a lot different because of the pandemic, obviously, and people are fearful of coming here. Lots of restrictions on the resorts, lots of restrictions in terms of meetings. So things have really kind of, you know, slowed to a crawl in, uh, in Southern Nevada as a result. And one of the major conventions that people usually come for is the Consumer Electronics Show, known as CES. With them being absent this year and going virtual instead, how much of a blow is that? Well, CES is, is the most annual conference that we have. And that's we're talking 180,000 people, roughly, that, that come to Las Vegas. Uh, obviously, we can't do that now because it's shoulder to shoulder. But think about all the resorts that have their rooms available to these people that are that are coming for this show. Uh, and, and a lot of them are coming from overseas. So we're talking about people here and uh, are likely to spend a lot of money, their expense accounts. So that that is something that has really uh, played half on the, the resort community because when you don't have a big show, and we, we have, you know, we, we have about 20,000 conventions, trade shows, meetings and conferences every year. And about a one third is draw about a thousand people. But the big one, like you mentioned, CES, uh, National Association of Broadcasters, SEMA, which is a big automotive show, Magic, which is a big, uh, a big fashion show, and a real estate uh, convention called Recon. Those are the ones that we really count on because it always brings in a large number of people, usually more than a hundred thousand people, and uh, our hotel. The community can can accommodate it. We have enough hotel rooms, 100,000 hotel rooms, to accommodate that kind of a group. And obviously, when you have this number of conventions of, of this magnitude, there's a lot of domino effects, not just for the hotels and casinos, but the people who work in these industries, the restaurants that would have been frequented. What sort of losses could we be looking at, do you think, in 2021? Big-time big losses. Right, right now, our unemployment rate in the state that is 10%. Well, that doesn't sound too bad compared to a lot of other places. But then when you consider the unemployment rate among tourism-dependent jobs, it's more like 28%. So it includes contract laborers, the construction people, that, and the electricians, the food service workers that prepare the convention booth at these conferences. Also, as you pointed out, restaurants, entertainment, uh, convention administrative personnel, resort workers, including hospitality, food and drink, server, housekeeping, front desk, secure, all of those are impacted. So a lot of people are not working now because the resorts are either uh, only open during uh, weekends because they, it, it's kind of pointless to, to stay open uh, during the, uh, the, the midweek time because there's no conventions in town, or uh, they're very minimal, uh, have very minimal visitation to them. Uh, we're talking about 25% capacity in the, on the casino floor. So that has, uh, has put a damper on, on visitation to, to Southern Nevada.